is with the winner of the largest academic competition in the world. Hey, who? Hello, good morning. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely incredible. You said it, national championship, okay? And um, hello, he won. Yeah, he oh. did. Like the whole thing. Like the whole it. thing. Wow. Right here. His name is Rohi. Good morning to you. Good morning. He is going into his senior year at Kennedy High School, and wow. his coach also sitting right here as well, Quest. Uh, he also was a student and a member of the speech and debate team at mm -hmm. uh, Kennedy High School. Glad you are with us this morning. This is so amazing, not only for you, but really for your school as well. You mentioned that this is the only national championship achievement that the school has, <laughs> and I love that it's in speech and debate. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. Thank you. That is pretty incredible. So we actually have video of this speech. Um, I was in speech and debate back when I was, that was like way long time ago. But <laughs> Auntie Julissa. Auntie Julissa, and I don't recall getting anywhere near this far. Uh, so take me through it. So here you are. Do you recall, what was this, what, what was your speech about? Uh, so I had three speeches inside my final round. Uh -huh. My first speech was about whether or not private companies should have to release an opt-in form to users if they want to collect users' data. Oh. Like totally uh, easy topic. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, my second speech was essentially concerning whether or not the Department of Defense should have to release a report to Congress before they want to establish programs to build new ground-based nuclear weapons. Again, well, that's wow. deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, my third one was pretty simple. It was just about whether the United States and the United Kingdom should make a free trade agreement. Yeah, that's totally easier. Um, so, <laughs> so you said that there are six topics that they give you, that possibilities, before you even go. So, yes. so you kind of had to have an idea for all and prepare for all six of these. Yeah, so that's actually what separates congressional debate, the event I do, from uh -huh. other debate events. With other debate events you have one resolution that you keep for a longer period of time while with congressional debate they expect you to have knowledge on a wider variety of topics yeah. so they give you more topics because they expect you to be more well versed inside those wider varieties wow i am so impressed right now and how long are all these speeches three minutes each three minutes each okay so you go through several rounds right it's like a five-day tournament in dallas just last week and you go through several rounds okay did you were you surprised at like after preliminaries and then the semifinals? so I was hoping, I was honestly expecting to make it from preliminaries to semifinal rounds yeah. because I was able to do so last year. Yeah. But at any tournament in the country and especially the national championship, making it from semifinal rounds to final rounds is really just like a big hurdle and yeah. it takes your best performance in the semifinal rounds. So I was definitely very excited once yeah. I was able to make it. So then, and you do this in front of nine judges, okay? So now they're announcing the winners, right? What was, what were your reactions when you saw, <laughs> when you're like, now they're down to the last one. I'm like, oh my God, they just announced your name. So before the award ceremony, they tell you who got top six. So I was standing up there on the top six stage, and then I was convinced I was going to be sixth. And then they called sixth. I thought I was going to be fifth. And then so on and so forth. And then really, <laughs> once they called first, I mean, honestly, I was starstruck. I really couldn't believe it. Oh, my so God. So awesome. Congratulations to both of you, their entire you. team. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is he doesn't, he wants to go into medicine after he graduates. Oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love it. Well, I no doubt you're going to do great things in whatever you do. So thank you both so much for being here. Um, we're going to hear much more from them. We've got uh, Yasmina Hassan did a story with you guys that you're going to run later on tonight on CBS 13. So you'll can look forward to that later on today. Thank you both for being here and best of luck to you next year. Thank I have you. Thank like you. All do well too. <laughs> all right, much more good day coming up on the other side of this break.